Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Just Fun Stuff. It is another beautiful day here on Funland, and as you can tell, Toy Day is just around the corner. So it is time to do some Toy Day activities and get the island prepped for the holidays. That's what we're going to do today. But before we do, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because you never want to miss another upload. With that being said, let's get right to this build. Okay, so the plan for today is imagine that there is snow. It is December already, but there is no snow on Funland yet, which is fine. It's not going to take us out of the Toy Day spirit. But what we're going for today is our tree farm. I wanted to put up like an old school, cut your own, come to the farmhouse type of tree farm. So that is what we are working on today. I am, by the way, absolutely in love with this whole garden shed thing. I used to carry as much as I could in pockets and drop it on wherever I was working and then I'd have to run back and forth. Now I don't have to do that. Now I can just take my time, bring my entire storage with me wherever I'm going and do our build. But as you can see, we're getting to work on this build, putting up the farmhouse. Now, I love being able to use the items from the Paradise Planning and bringing them back to our islands. I think that's so much fun because, like I said, I'm doing the old school cut your own tree farm and I wanted to create like a farmhouse, but I didn't, I want most of the focus to be on the actual trees and the farm not so much just the house and those storefronts were perfect um i put some cliffside behind them because i wanted to add some depth and i'm gonna add some stuff on the top eventually you'll see that after we're done laying out some path work um but again it's just so that it's not sitting flat against nothingness in the background Right now, we are working on my least favorite thing, which is paths, but again, they change the look of an area so much, and I think for the tree farm, you, you need it. You definitely need the dirt path. And this one, keeping it simple, straight up and down to the farmhouse, and then over to the edges. And you'll see why as, again, the build progresses. Now, I can't wait for there to be actual snow on the ground to get the whole feeling here, but I think we get the idea. And because it is already December, you need, you know, people need time to get their trees. You don't want to wait too long to put your tree farm up. Of course, we got to stop for balloons. There was nothing great in that one because I, you never know when new DIYs and stuff for the season is going to start. Although I do think that certain ones don't start until the middle of December. Anyway, finding more items, more stuff to craft. Tons of stuff to craft for this one. Again, so happy that I have that shed because, again, like I said before, I would be uber pre prepared and I would go over DIYs that I want to use and think do I need this in my pocket do I need that but now I'm able to just change my mind on the fly and I love that because I went with a completely different direction than I was originally going in um, putting up some vines on the cliffside just because I like them I think they look great I love how they go kind of brownish for the season now we're just putting up some barbed wire fence behind again just creating that farmhouse look Taking a peek. Now getting back to work on more things that we need. There are so many. The cool thing too, you can see through as we're going into the storage, how many things I'm bringing back with me from Happy Home Paradise because it is ridiculous the amount of things that I'm bringing back. I can't get enough and being able to shop with Wardell has been it's not great for my pokey that I'm earning because I'm spending so much, but I think well worth it. All right, plant partitions, just adding a little greenery. Beautiful. I'm really happy with the way that this was coming out again. It's just kind of an idea on the fly. I knew that I wanted a tree farm. I knew that I wanted a rustic looking farm and the rest is all just kind of we're going as we go. We're deciding 
as we need you, I guess, is the best way to put it. All right, putting up the potted plants because again, this is a working farm. So we're gonna have a good mix of full grown trees and then I want some just planted trees. So I thought having the little potted plant area over there where somebody could be working to plant the trees as people are cutting them was kind of a cute idea. Making room because of course I have to put in the full grown trees first, then put in some baby trees, we'll call them. But already you can see it's a farm, it's trees. All right, heading over, just grabbing a bunch of the saplings because that is the one thing I forgot to get. But again, the store is right behind so it wasn't too, too bad. All right, just getting again a feeling for it. Now the country fence, I love the country fence. I know that there are the newer fences now and the ones that you can DIY and change the color, but sometimes you can't mess with a classic and the country fence just works. Oh, I was so excited when Happy Home Paradise, excuse me, had that tractor. I was just super excited. I thought that's exactly what I need on a working tree farm. You have to have the tractor. Now we're putting up our shop signs or creating our shop signs so that people know exactly where they're going. Cleaning up the fence a little bit because, and changing the path because I had, of course, a brilliant plan, or plan change as I always do. And I decided I wanted to kind of create one of those like, I want to have a parking lot eventually with all the cars is my plan is what I'm trying to get out and I wanted it to be like when you park on the grass when you pull into one of those old school tree farms and they have the signs directing you to park in a field is kind of the direction I was going. So there we are putting up the tree farm signs. I think that looks great. Grabbing more things because you can never have enough. Now this one, we'll talk about before I do them. These ornament DIYs, if you've done Happy Home Planning or Happy Home Paradise, you know that we can use these items there, but they're not available here. I did go on Dodo Codes, which is kind of a cheat. Not, f I wouldn't say that I cheated because I paid a lot, but I went and I did one of their auctions and somebody else, I'm assuming, time traveled and got the DIYs. So I was able to get some DIYs that way. Only a couple, I don't have all of them that I'd like to use, but I was really excited to be able to get to use them. And I had ornaments left over from last year, luckily. But look at the size of that giant ornament. It's so amazing. I was super happy to use them. But yes, if you are bold enough and feel like time traveling, I'm sure you can get them. I got mine a different way, but I'm just super excited to be able to use them. They're so cool. Now, I don't have the ornament garland, I believe it's called, and I really want that one, but they didn't have that one. They had the ornament trees and they had the giant ornament and there was a couple little ones like ornament lamps and stuff that I got, but really excited about those and I did them all green just because I like the color but you can change them I think it's red yellow green and blue they're really pretty and then using the big festive trees from last year again just more decorating because when you go to a tree farm they're usually decorated pretty good so I was just trying to think where to put them oh and the party garland lights how perfect is that leading into a tree farm it just reminds me of like those old school tree lots like in a parking lot where it'd be lined with those that was going to be one of my initial ideas on it before I decided to go with more of a country theme but I had to use the party light because it's just so cute now just decorating the front of the farmhouse because again that is still somebody's home that's the farmhouse the owners of this area oh and I got some of the new lamps and I wanted to use them I was gonna use them to line the walkway and then I just I didn't like it it was just kind of crowding a little too much so I thought I'd put it in the back for some light um I will be updating the dream address and I'll be doing it at nighttime because I think the tree farm looks amazing at night so you'll be able to see it then I'll lit up it makes a lot more sense as to why and where I put the lamps but 
it still looks great now. I'm very happy with the way that it has turned out. Still more things to do. It's just minor details at this point. Just adding a few more, I think. At this point, I'm just adding some benches and a few final touches. Oh, customizing, putting up another sign. And the benches, of course. They're gonna kind of act as a don't drive your car through this area. And done. I think it all came together. Apple seems to be loving it. It's a perfectly cute, rustic, come cut your own Christmas tree working tree farm. I love the ornaments. I think it turned out really great. It's just so simple, rustic, and cute. It's its own little spot, but an awesome start to the Toy Day festivities, I think. I think it looks amazing here on Funland. I do, however, want to thank you guys so much for watching with me, for helping create this build, for liking and subscribing, and we are definitely going to be back with more videos.